At this year's Paralympic World Championships in Qatar, the Ukrainian team has a lot to prove. At the last championships two years ago and the last Olympics, they finished fourth, confirming Ukraine's status as a Paralympic superpower. That result now seems well beyond reach. That's because of the ongoing military conflict with pro-Russian separatists in the east of the country. A curious side note of Russia's annexation of Crimea in 2014 is that Moscow has inherited Ukraine's best Paralympics training base, Yevpatoria. The large, state-of-the-art performance center on the Black Sea coast is now off-limits to Ukraine's athletes. We were proud of that base. It was absolutely unique until recently. What are the difficulties we face? We're limited financially, of course. We can't organize as many pre-tournament training camps as we had hoped. There's an issue with equipment and training gear because our equipment was left in Yevpatoria. We had to scramble to find last-minute gear so we could train properly. Government funding for the team has been squeezed as resources once meant for athletics are directed to the fighting. A third of athletes came from pro-Russian regions Donetsk and Lugansk. Some have had to move to stay in the team. Others have chosen to quit altogether. They say that Donetsk should be part of Russia. They don't get to represent Russia in the Games. But the Ministry of Olympic Sports does not want them to represent Ukraine either, because they don't get along with the rest of the team. That's why things are so tense. It's like they're no longer part of the team. Despite the difficulties, Ukraine continues to develop its sports initiation system for disabled children. The government now offers a similar program for maimed soldiers called Back to Life. We heard that some young people had gone to war in perfect health and come back amputees. It's a good opportunity for these people to feel like someone needs them, like they're competing for a medal, like they're part of a team. It helps psychologically, especially to beat depression. UN figures published in September showed nearly 8,000 people have been killed in the conflict and almost 18,000 injured. The country's Paralympics team is determined to give a creditable performance, despite feeling the strain of problems back home in embattled Ukraine.